Hi guys, as promised, uh, is the XTM 201 Di. Uh, my bit of a info, and I'll show you what a TIG well looks like. But starting off, guys, this is the main menu. So what you can have on here, if we go to the help, first of all, you can click on torch, MIG, MIG torch or TIG torch. You can then obviously tell it which torch you're using two button four button or, or scroll wheel what, whatever you want to use same with the tick torch go on to the tick torch foot pedal normal switch um, I've just got it on standard for now because I just use it as an on off so any long press of the main button will put it back to the beginning so next we've got mig burn back that you can quickly set your mig burn back D dead easy enough Click on to enter, and then you've got MMA, TIG, manual MIG, um, and the Synergic. So if we just quickly go through MIG Synergic, you can either click, because on this model, obviously, you can feed two gas pipes in one go. One second. There you go. You don't have to mess around like you do with the ESABs and stuff like that, um, or the Rebel. I think the, the the 305 does ACDC, so that'll be pretty much the same. But once you click the MIG trigger, it will click over to MIG. Once you hit the TIG switch, it will flick over to TIG. So you're not messing around. You can actually have, I've only, I mainly use mine for TIG, uh, but you can actually have both both connected. So you can quickly swap without faffing around with the gas pipes, which is uh, excellent. So on here, let me just go through this. So obviously, mix synergic, you'll pick normal steel, aluminium, stainless steel, so we'll click on this. Gas mix, uh, wire, 2T40, 2T, and pretty much, let's say we go to 2mm. And pretty much there. Now obviously, if you look at the top two dials, um, it pretty much gets you in the ballpark. But you've got leeway as long as the needle stays within green. Now obviously, if you fluctuate too much out of there that's out of range and I'll be honest with you the range they give you um, is pretty good both on the MIG and both on the TIG and I haven't got a problem um, with either messing around uh, there's just one issue with the TIG side and I'll just cover that shortly so if we go back to the beginning long press on the beginning now if we go to the TIG can you hear it click again or TIG side. Now we can obviously go to manual set, 2T, ACDC, we'll click on DC, HF lift, no pulse, and you 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 quickly. It's quite basic really. Um so if we go to the right at the beginning, you've obviously got pre-gas, slow pop, welding current, um everything else. Now if we go to the TIG synergic side. There are one thing here. Uh, tick. Now you can go to auto set. Now then, we go to two T, uh, two point four tungsten, uh, mal steel. Now if we go to two mil, general generally that's eighty amp butt weld and above hundred amps. So if we click, if we click this. Um, See that number four, I kind of set that before. Let's just let's just go back off that to five mil. Uh, yeah, that four at the bottom corner, that must actually stay the same. Um, I'll find out actually, because initially when you first go through the auto setting, that post uh, is set on one second, which obviously we know that 100, 120 amp or so, one second is not enough. But looking at that since last time I used it, that's actually stayed. So that must be, that mustn't be included in the in the automatic setting. But again, when you jump on to auto set, 2.4, stainless steel, let's say 2 mil. Again, if you have a look, you, you pretty much in the ballpark um, so obviously amp wise 86 so you're looking at you for butt weld I usually use for fillet 100 and odd so 101 I think it's 106 I th yeah 
So 105. So again, it's it, it, it'll get you there. Um, really, really good. And that's the panel. Then obviously you've got the menu. You've got the save button here. The memory you can click. You can obviously click through all the dials. Save which one you want, MIG or TIG. And that's that's a 211DI. There's a lot to it, but it is quite simple, especially if you've TIG well before. And the last one, which I've not played with yet, but I'm going to have a dabble. Um, go right to the beginning. If we click on to help, you can connect it to Bluetooth. Now, you scan that on an app on your phone, and you can actually, all the presets, you can adjust on the phone at home. So once you come to the shed, you can just connect it with Bluetooth and feed all the results into the machine. Yet to try that, but it seems okay. Uh, factory reset, no thanks. Uh, version number, obviously that's for power world only. That probably up software updates and stuff. Uh, and then you've got spares, which go to the machine. A few part numbers, what you will need off power world, and that's that's pretty much it. I'll just show you inside the machine. Go back to the beginning. Um, if we go back, <laughs> click on here. Um, now, obviously, they have changed a little bit because this this is the second one. This is the second one I've had. Not obviously because the first one's broken, <laughs> uh, but I, but there it's, there's a couple of dads um, and 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 different things. But the first one used to have. You'll probably see. Used to have like a. Um, like a mark here, like it's been scraped, and the first few, the first few have, uh, and we've sent emails and stuff like that, so it looks like that's been rectified. Um, normal fire reader, but pretty, but pretty clean machine. And judging when you watch the video of me doing the well, which I did actually a couple of days ago, this was the last one I had to do. You'll notice that at the side of that, I had an XTT. 212 so before you ask and ask where that xtt 212 has gone that again that's at dad's thumb because i'm having that with stick welding excellent machine for stick welding so as you guys know um i'm not biased to any welder neither, again neither pay me but i i currently use th this one here i use as you know myself i use the jassic cut 45 on my homemade table which I'll be doing some stuff on that this week so that there'll be more videos posted on that one and then up top here I have the, the Jassic MIG and I have the Jassic TIG um, all four they all do a different job for me but and I'm gonna go through the other two as well again both companies I can't knock them Jassic's local to me uh, the bang on the money with a customer service every single time you can ring them up and Plus, you get a five-year warranty. As obviously, you can see, mine are looked after. They're covered up. I've only, with me only having the small, like I say, workspace that I do. Uh, I don't really grind in here. So these are probably the cleanest welders that Jessica will ever see if they ever go back. And obviously, through winter time, they actually go in the house. They, they don't get left in a damp garage. And I just find that they just last better that way. But I'll go through them individually because this one particular. Um, there's there's kind of extra settings in there that you might not need but anyway this is about this one and I can say no more I mean if you've got any questions about the machine or you want me to do anything with the machine I will happily give it a go and, and post it now let's say I'm not a MIG kind of guy so that's why this is specifically it's a backup in case anything else goes wrong with a TIG so that's what I mainly use this for um, again I don't use Powell's own i only i only use the ck torches only only have um at work and on other things so what powerwell's quite good at is you can ask for the machine only where other other machines you have to buy the clumping torches um which they're no use to me powerwell they'll still sell you the machine only which is excellent so i just use this with a cooler with the ck 20 and then obviously I've got my CK9, which is just mess around for qu quick tacking. Um, but it's whatever comes for whatever's nearest to the plug that I'll tend that, that I'll tend to use. So so yeah, aluminium's coming shortly because obviously I'm just waiting for the coupons to come. But if anyone's got any questions on what they want me to try with it or do with it, um, they're more than welcome. Um, and that's it, guys. So 
very shortly I'll do a couple of fillet wells on the Synergic TIG on the manual TIG and you can have a look at the wells for the self. So here we go, just a quick fillet weld. Um, two mil, two mil mild steel, 2.4 tungsten, uh, 1.6 filler. I'm set at 100 amp on the power weld 211 and we'll see how this turns out. Like I said, don't really judge the wells itself because I'm not, like I say, I'm far from a, a, a pro welder. Uh, but obviously the metal's stuck together and it looks okay, so it'll pass for me. And there we go. So I'll just spin that round now so you can get a quick look. Just bear with me really, I need a I need a proper camera when I, in the future when I start doing this. But there we go. I was saying not the best well, but certainly not the worst. So now um, I'll move over to the Synergic setting, which it, it basically adds adds everything up. I'm just showing you there with this torch because I, I generally use this 211 as a MIG. That the connections, obviously the the gas quick connections, I can just quickly fly the torch CK torch to any TIG welder. It'll just quickly switch in. Um, I I have a WP9 just for messing around really, but this one was just as easy just to set up for this demo. And here we go on the Synergic side. So just the same, 100 amp. Uh, the post flow I've turned up a tad because at one second I think that's a little low. So here goes. And I'll just show both the wells at the end. But excellent machine, really. Customer service is brilliant. And obviously, guys, I don't get paid by Power World. I don't get paid by Jassic. They're the machines that I use. And they do the job for me as well as any other, any other really. Now, I'll cover the MIG side at a later date. Don't really do much MIG because I, I use this 211 generally as a TIG on its own. It's just connected to the water cooler all the time. Um, but really, really smooth. Uh, fantastic machine. And there you go. Quickly show you the two wells side by side. Now the one on the left is obviously manual, and the one we've just done on the synergic side is on the right. There you go. So excellent, really. Uh, and obviously, a decent welder will probably get even better results. So there you go, mate. The power weld two one one on the DC side tick. And cheers for watching a little bit, a little bit more videos shortly.